Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about Oaken's Law. In this video we're going to examine a law called Oaken's Law and what this shows and what it examines is the relationship between GDP and unemployment. So gross domestic product in the economy and the unemployment level UT here. What we say is that for Oaken's law to correspond to the macro economy, we would say that the labor force in the modern economy is relatively fixed. So if the labor force is quite fixed in terms of size, not that much increase or decrease, well then that means that any increases in employment, so if jobs are being created, any increase in employment should coincide with a decrease in unemployment if the labor force is, is quite fixed. So in practice, what we tend to find is we look at it as an empirical relationship. So what we say is that the change in unemployment in the economy is equal to a constant term alpha minus a beta coefficient bracket the percentage change in real GDP. Okay, so this is Oaken's law in empirical sense. So the change in unemployment corresponds to negatively the percentage change in real GDP. So what does that actually mean? It means that as real GDP increases, as physical output increases in the economy, then the unemployment rate should reduce. So that's what the negative figure says here. Well, the original data that was plugged into the model showed that a one percentage point increase in unemployment, so when this went up by 1%, was associated with a three percentage point fall in real GDP. So that tended to be the relationship when it was first introduced here. That was the trade-off when it was uh, empirically assessed. So what it tends to show is how much output is lost when unemployment is quite high. Uh, what we could do is we could graph this relationship as well if we so wish. And in this graph here, we could look at, for example, the change in unemployment up here on the y-axis and we could look at the change in GDP down here on the x-axis and what that would show is a negative trade-off between them so it would be a negatively sloped line like this Oaken's law would say that if unemployment is quite high let's say up here at our 10 percent what should happen is that with a high level of unemployment that should mean that the change in GDP is quite low, let's say two, whereas when GDP increases, let's say up to 5%, 5% change in GDP, the unemployment rate will reduce. And we will change this down to five in this case here. So a negative trade-off between unemployment and GDP. As GDP increases, it creates jobs and unemployment drops. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.